I believe it's not on this report version, tracks how long it took to install it, validates the machine comes back up successfully or not, and tries to check on the state of the machine and the total number of updates for it. Now, this isn't ready yet, uh, but hopefully this might be helpful and something that we can start to share out with people so that we can start trying to test break our machines so that you don't have to. So as I mentioned, uh, anecdotal uh, concerns related to BSODs and uh, uh, BitLocker recovery keys on reboot for Windows 10 updates with Maze uh, keyboard of updates. So I would say tread lightly. You may want to go uh, pump the brakes a little bit on that. Um, late, uh, shortly after. Um, Shortly after last month's past Tuesday, uh, people started reporting, hey, I can't, my Windows 10 devices can't seem to download uh, the Windows 11 feature update. Uh, as you uh, hopefully all know, but I'll say it again, in October of this year, in theory, Windows 10 uh, goes out of support and you need to be rolling out to, uh, to Windows 11. So obviously that's kind of a concern. And the answer is yes, it is a known issue. Uh, I don't know if they've actually released a fix for it yet, uh, we'll see if May's, um, May's releases fix it or not. But if you uh, were subject to that, uh, yes. Uh, as of a couple of weeks ago, if you were trying to release a feature update via the WSOS or Config Manager, uh, it was done broke. 